Hey guys, we're here at M-Wave. Uh, I'm here with Matt from uh, Storm. Super excited to be here. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the system setup here. Uh, we got a uh, uh, S7 series uh, uh, for listen setup. We got 7.7.4. Uh, .7 um, kind of a crazy system to set up as a demo at a show. Uh, so there's a lot of hard work that went in, into this and we're really excited. Uh, we got a ginormous room in here and uh, our technology is a large part of that and really helping uh, making make sure we got even response throughout we got the seven subwoofers we got two flagship d215s um, and those are in the right front and left front corners up here we got also some uh, two d15s up front and three across the back and this is a large room you'll probably get some scale from some pictures but that's really a difficult situation standing waves get really low in frequency and uh, so it's pretty cool to have the ability to have bass really even response in this room um, of course with the the power of the prolison subwoofers that's uh, some magic there um, we have up front s7t our flagship speaker or s7c flagship center um, we got the s4b here our little baby dominus rated surround Two channel wonder and a two dot one, so it's a really great mix of you can do two channel, you can do home theater. We got some S four S's up here around uh, up for our top level, and uh, you know that really sums up the system in the in the showroom. So we got six seats in here. Um, it's a pretty cool setup, and uh, Storm's a major part of that. So I'll let Matt talk a little bit about his side. Yeah, Eric says we got the little baby here, as if this doesn't weigh more than your average small child. Uh, <laughs> This is a killer, killer room. Uh, it is very large, as Eric mentioned, to put an actual numerical point on that. This room is 48 feet long, 28 feet wide, and 15 foot 7 inches tall. Uh, so it is a massive space, being that we have some actual visual aesthetic products as well, some screen samples, uh, a secondary projector for people to take a look at. Uh, the Evo processor is also here statically on display. So we chose to occupy the front two-thirds of the room. That way we could pressurize things a little bit better. Uh, we did, you know, do our homework and, and make sure that we did some analysis and simulations beforehand to make sure that we were in a half decent starting point as any little audio engineer should. Uh, and then we came in here and set up and deployed with uh, Art, which is the third time that we've done this as a joint uh, show this year. And it's a fantastic pairing. Um, so, so from the Storm Audio side, we have a ISP Elite Mark III sitting in the rack over here behind us. Um, it is a fantastic piece. We actually just recently launched Drac uh, Live Active Room Treatment to the public in the beginning of uh, June. So it's been live for about six weeks now and available to, to Storm Audio users. It is exclusive to Storm Audio until Q4 of this year. Um, so this was a really cool setup in here and the, and the way active room treatment works really lets us to have a good presentation in here. It would be a lot more difficult to do what we're doing in here without it. Um, it's a very, very revolutionary and I use this term a lot when I'm talking about it because it really really is way of treating the the base handling and base management in the room and especially for us to be able to walk into a big room at a convention center where you know they've made some steps to improve the acoustics of the room but it's not a whole lot uh, I did a shout test in the back of the room earlier today and we had a solid two and a half seconds of reverberation. So for us to be able to have really high level low end bass in here and not have a ton of excessive reverberation and decay time is, is pretty impactful. Um, other than the subwoofers, we also have a Storm Audio PA16 Mark III doing the amplification. That is a 16 channel amplifier uh, in a three rack unit tall form factor. It's the only form factor like that in the residential market for amplification. Uh, it is a solid power hound. It's got over a 3000 watt power supply in it. Um, and we were lucky enough to actually have a few 30 amp circuits provided to us to be able to drive all of this in this room, which is really helping. 
Uh, so we're paired together here with Seymour Screen Excellence. We've got a, a Barco Niord CinemaScope projector, uh, as well as a Mad VR NV uh, and Row One Cedar seats. So you know, all together, this is a, a pretty wicked combination. Yep, you got 16,000 watts in subs alone, uh, in, you know, in the systems when you add them all up together. So yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy what we're doing in here. And, and literally what's really cool also is, you know, the, the amps are 200 watts a channel as well. 200 watts and eight ohms, 225 and a four. Um, it does have the ability to have bridged mode power, which we're not even doing, we're just running single and did for all the channels in here, and it's plenty. Uh, in fact, we had some some precautions on the first day on our initial tuning, and yep. we decided to, to do a slight scale back uh, just so that we weren't totally over the top. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's really goes to show of uh, really how much energy you can put into a room with using really efficient, high quality speakers, and you can energize a room this size, literally with 200 watts a channel. Uh, and a lot of the speakers are, uh, I know our front S7Ts are 600 watts. So there's a lot of, you know, room to growth, and that's why they're Dominus rated, um, 117 dB at one meter. Um, so it's about not just getting loud, it's about the dynamics, and that's what we have in, in mu movies, right? There's 20, 30 dB peaks. You gotta have the amplifier power, but you also gotta have the clean uh, linear excursion to get there, and that's uh, really what makes it a, a unique experience. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a pretty tremendous presentation. So, cool. Yeah.